day, my dear students. I am Dr. Rafiu Ibrahim Abiodun, ACA, your financial accounting teacher. Today, we are going to look at trial balance. Financial accounting involves the systematic recording of financial transactions into the books of accounts. This recording requires debiting and crediting of appropriate accounts in line with the double entry principle and it must be done accurately. Therefore, to test the arithmetical accuracy of all posting made into various ledgers, trial balance is required to perform this function. How do we use trial balance to test for accuracy of all posting made? This is our major concern in today's lesson, learning objective. By the end of the lesson, I will expect you students to be able to explain the meaning of trial balance you should be able to state the functions of trial balance and you should be able to enumerate the rules for posting into trial balance and you should be able to prepare a trial balance. Trial balance can be defined as a list showing the debit and credit balances extracted from ledgers. It is prepared to test the arithmetical accuracy of the ledgers. The technique ensures that debit and credit balances as displayed in the ledgers are compiled. The objective is to prove the accuracy of the bookkeeping. Now we are going to look at the functions of trial balance. Number one, it helps to reveal the level of accounting errors in the prepared ledgers and the nature of such accounting errors and mistakes. Number two, it proves the arithmetical accuracy and corrections of posting made into ledgers. Number three, it serves as a link to the effective preparation of most final accounts. Number four, it serves as a proof of knowledge of the application of the double entry principle. Number five, it shows that the accounting circle of collating, postings, and generating of accounting data and information from the source documents to journals and to ledgers are genuine, reliable, and error proof. At this point, let us go for a short break, and when we come back, we will continue. Thank you. Welcome back to the second segment of today's lesson. Recall that in the first segment, we looked at the meaning of trial balance and its functions. Now, let us look at the rules for posting balances from ledgers to trial balance. Rules of posting into the trial balance. Number one, all asset account balances must be debited in the trial balance. All liability balances are credited to the trial balance. All income or gain revenue balances are credited. All expenses are debited to the trial balance. All provisions are credited to the trial balance. Capital is credited to the trial balance. We now look at formats of a typical trial balance. You are going to draw your trial balance with three major columns. The first column will be titled particular. The second one is titled debit and the third column is titled credit. Capital is taken to the credit column of the trial balance. Plant and machinery is an asset is taken to the debit column of the trial balance. Free old premises is an asset is taken to the debit column of the trial balance. Motor vehicle is an asset is taken to the debit column of the trial balance. Stock at the beginning of the year is an asset is taken to the debit column of the trial balance. Purchases is an expense is taken to the debit column of the trial balance. Sales is an income is taken to the credit column of the trial balance. Rent and rate is an expense is debited to 
the debit column of the tire balance. Wages and salary is an, ex is an expense. is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Advertisement is an expense. is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Cash in hand is an asset. is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Bad debts that is written off is like an expense and so is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Provision for bad debts is a provision is credited to the credit column of the tire balance. Provision for depreciation is also a provision is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Discount allowed is an expense is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Discount received is an income and is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Carriage outward is an expense is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Carriage inward is an expense is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Drawing reduces capital and as such is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. 15% loan is a liability and is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Telephone expenses is an expense is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Return inward is like an expense because we are going to pay back the customer who has returned the goods and therefore is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Return outward is an income and is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Debtors is an asset is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Creditors is creditors, they are liabilities and they are taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Furniture and fitting is an asset is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Bank overdraft is a liability and is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. You will now total everything on the debit column and every figure on the credit column. The, both the debit column and the credit column must have the same total. At the end, the total of the debit column must be equal to the total of the credit column. Otherwise, errors affecting the balance agreement have been committed in the process of recording transactions into the books of accounts. At this junction, let us go for a short break and when we come back, we will continue. Welcome back, my dear student, to the last segment of our today's lesson. Recall that in the first and second segment of this lecture, we dealt with the meaning of trial balance, its functions, rules for extracting a trial balance, and a typical format of a trial balance. Now we will look at a simple illustration. Illustration. The followings are the ledger accounts of Success Guide Nigeria Limited. Capital account having a, a credit balance of 25,000 naira after all necessary posting have been made. Bank account having a debit balance of 30,000 naira after all postings have been made. Creditors account having a credit balance of 90,000 naira after all postings have been made. Purchases account having a debit balance of 90,000 naira after all necessary postings have been made. Says account having a credit balance of 60,000 naira after all postings have been made. Cash account having a debit balance of 55,000 naira after all necessary postings have been made. The balances of these various ledgers will now be used to extract a trial balance. Now we have Sources Guide Nigeria Limited. Tire balance as at the year ended 31st December 2015. As usual, you will draw your tire balance with the three major columns, the particular columns, the debit and the credit columns. Capital account credit balance of 25,000 is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Bank account debit balance of 30,000 is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. Creditors account credit balance of 90,000 is taken to the credit column of the tire balance. Purchases account debit balance of 90,000 is taken to the debit column of the tire balance. 
says the account credit balance of 60,000 is taken to the credit column of the tab balance. Cash account debit balance of 55,000 is taken to the debit column of the tab balance. At the end, we will sum up all the figures on the debit column and that will give us 175,000 Naira. We will do the same to all the figures on the credit column and it will also result into 175,000 Naira. This shows that all the posting made into the various ledgers, they were correct. At this point, I will now give you an assignment. Post the following transaction into the appropriate ledger accounts and extract a trial balance. ABC Nigeria Limited started business on January 1, 2012 with a capital of 16,000 Naira. The following transactions were carried out during the month of January. January 1, purchased furniture by cash, 2,400. January 2, purchased stationery, 2,000 cash. January 3, purchased goods by cash, 3,500. January 4, purchased goods on credit from Malam Kaita, 5,000 Naira. January 15, sold goods for cash, 60,000 Naira. January 18, sold goods on credit to Mr. James, 24,000. January 20, paid advertisement expenses, 2,000 Naira. January 25, paid Malam Kaita, 3,500 cash, being part payment of good purchased. January 28, paid rent in cash, 3,000. January 31st, paid salaries and wages, 6,000 Naira cash. You are required to write up the ledger account and extract a trial balance. Please visit the Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter page at LASG Education for a soft copy of this lesson. Submission of assignments and questions to clear your gray area of the topic. For added value on this topic, visit the following sites www.accountingexplanation.com www.accountingcoach.com Also visit YouTube Accounting Stuff. Thank you.